everyone, it's me Leonora Stavrinidis from Explore Life with Michael and Leonora. So today we will be heading off to Omodos village. So basically Omodos uh, village is one of the oldest uh, village in Cyprus. So as you can see now it's beautiful mountain. Uh, <coughs> sorry, I have cold. So I'm, I'm just gonna be doing it on the way going to Omodos. That's a beautiful rock formation as you can see. Okay. As you can see people there, they were videoing it. This beautiful rock formation. This is on the way going to Omodos. Actually this is a, uh, how you call it, is a, uh, Not in the highway, how you call it, Michael? A, a, mo not a motorway, are we? It's not a motorway. But basically, this is a... Uh, uh, Scenic roads. Uh, country roads. Uh, country roads, yeah, country roads, that's good. That's you can see and you can appreciate all these uh, beautiful rocks and mountains. It's a beautiful nature. So it's better to... Uh, hit this road rather than the highway because you can appreciate how beautiful and gorgeous Cyprus uh, from Paphos, we came from Paphos going to Omodos okay so as you can see all the beautiful rock formation and it's small roads as well it's very narrow roads So basically Omodos is on the way to Trodos so it's not far away uh, from uh, this o Omodos is not far away going uh, to Trodos I think they are next uh, to each other so it's the first time that we were gonna be visiting uh, Omodos village so this is gonna be exciting and of course I will be just, uh, I'm gonna be featuring some uh, anything interesting in there so you can have any idea guys okay I don't know what is the name of this village. K K Kedaris, uh, Kedaris village. As you can see, all the houses in here, small, tiny village. They have a very traditional house and some beautiful uh, oranges. Uh, actually, earlier we passed so many plantations of oranges. As you can see, all these beautiful uh, houses. It's very traditional. They have all the stone uh, house. It's very nice. So we got a cafe. They have a cafe. As you can see from there, we passed it. So this is like a municipality of this village. So this tiny road, as you can see. <clears throat> Actually, we were using a GPS, so we'll make sure that <laughs> we're not gonna get lost. So it's very helpful guys, you know, if you're traveling anywhere, <clears throat> it's my husband's idea and it's very, very useful to especially strange places. So it's better to use a GPS. So we're climbing now, the road is going up now, as you can see. The weather is perfect. It's not raining. It actually, it's still winter in uh, Cyprus. Uh, we're in January the 26th today. So it's still uh, winter, but the weather is brilliant. Now we're heading off another village. They call it Praetori. Praetori. I don't know how I pronounce it uh, very well. 
as you can see, uh, uh, we were, uh, you can see some houses on the side. I think it's too far to, uh, but we're getting in there. It's winery as well as uh, an, an hour and a half kilometer. Uh, why is it kilometer? How are you really? One and a half kilometer. One and a half kilometer. <laughs> Actually, I'm not very good with all this. <laughs> Kilometer, kilometer. <laughs> My husband just smiling. As you can see, this uh, Praetor, Praetori, Praetori uh, village. There's so much olive tree as in the side. So it's very nice, guys. Here you see, you know, featuring all these uh, small villages. As you can see there, you know, this is like a. Uh, a little bit modern side actually because you can see the houses is uh, not much uh, typical but uh, as Cyprus being developing now is uh, as a European so I think uh, everybody is uh, doing something changes as well so we're climbing up now the road is going up so we have so many winery uh, signs and cafe that we passed so this is a uh, Actually, uh, where all the wine in Cyprus uh, were produced because they have so many. Uh, there's another one there, Nilion Winery and Cafe. So it's so many winery in this area. So maybe next time when we we stop by, sometimes you know to to do a testing wine tasting. But today we were just gonna head off to uh, Omados. This is Ayus Nikolaus. So this is like a more uh, like a ch ch church things. The name of it. So that they can pray on the way. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> so this is a small village again. So it's so many next to each other. You know, it's small. These beautiful villages, as you can. See, this one is a cafe, restaurant, romele, English and breakfast. Uh, English breakfast <laughs> it's amazing in the village they have this English breakfast why not it's so many travel is more 400 meters turn right oh as you can hear the GPS they are giving us a uh, direction so look at the uh, pine tree as beautiful pine trees as you can see Mandria Trudos heading after Trudos well, we're turning right from here. And climbing, we've been climbing for about uh, uh, 15 minutes. So the road is uh, going up and up, so the temperature is uh, changing, of course. But we're inside the car, we have the heater on, so we and we were gonna go high to the mountain of course you know where's each we're heading off in there as so you can appreciate all these beautiful uh, pine trees it's beautiful we're gonna do the left turn you can see the sign there is omodo so we're turning on the left climbing up as you can see uh I show you uh, some of the winery that we passed many times. All with, they were they grown all these uh, vine leaf, vi vines. Is it vines for uh, wine? So hopefully we will pass more of those. As you can see, all this. Uh, I think they start growing the the vine. The, the why you call it the the wine the grapes the grapes wine. This is how they start growing it now because they've been trimmed. I don't think they're them. I'm not sure, but I think it is. These. This one on the side, yeah, that's not. So it's beautiful clouds. I think we're so high now. Oh, so high, <laughs> I think. <laughs> we're climbing in the mountain. So uh, you can see the clouds is very close. See now, this is all the cool. trim, uh, trim of uh, uh, grapevine. Is many of them, as you can see, beautiful. So this is a more narrow road actually. This is like 
crazy because uh, some car just uh, coming on our way so we have to stop as you can see it's so narrow and this uh, I mentioned about all this grave vine you see there's a farmer over there <laughs> it's beautiful yeah, this is a winery yes this is a prophet Elias winery so it's really nice to see one of those and someday maybe we were gonna stop by on there it's beautiful so the GPS asks us to turn right then turn left so it's brilliant guys when you have a GPS because you know it's easier to give you a proper direction where you're heading off so this is uh, another winery because I think oh I think this is kind of municipality so domain domain uh, Basilia this so uh, I'm not sure what is that so over there. so we'll be turning left just here so I think that's the municipality of Omodos basically in 300 meters turn left so this is a uh, village now so we're just another turning left Okay, we're here now. Which way do you want to go? That way? Oh, I don't know yet. Maybe... No, we're here. Yes. This is where we are. So we're here now. As you can see, all this small village is beautiful. And we're going to be maybe walking down there. So where we are? Turn right, right, then turn left. It's a beautiful village. Oh, the road is so narrow. So it's like a one way, but actually this is two ways. Look at that beautiful house, isn't it? Samu. Turn then. right, then turn right. We got a charity shop. It's like a, maybe we we'll just find where to park the car. Maybe there, there's a parking, a lot of parking over there. There's a coffee shop in here. A free parking. We're just gonna park the car so we can walk around. So basically, we are here now at the uh, one of the center in 400 meters. Sharp right. So this is the pri uh, free parking from here. As you can see, there's a bus in there. There's one tavern in there, as you can see. So we're here. Yay! Hey, hey pussycat! So this is like a sitting park in here. It's beautiful. So we're gonna walk down to the center. There's a toilet in here. We're gonna go down and there's a map over there. We're just gonna have a look. The temperature is not too bad at all. So uh, I haven't even wear my uh, thick coat. See here is a beautiful, beautiful park. Oh, I can feel uh, the weather. So there's they have a big map in here so I don't know if really oh ah, yeah some there's uh, it's translated in English as well so it's nice and easy to everybody uh. so actually it was says in here I, I, will, I will not read all of it but as you can see from the video some of them they're in English okay so it's nice to know it's a beautiful uh, little park nice nice to relax in here and sit the weather is brilliant see so many tourists around here so we want to see this one of the shop <laughs> stop by it's all the tradition dry nuts in here beautiful souvenir see all the people parked just nearby this is a 
one of the center there's a donkey sign <laughs> it's nice it's a little show I'll take a video of this map maybe useful for you uh, for your uh, uh, journey so just have a look at it so it will give you some direction there's some more tourists cars everywhere I think it's busy today as you can see so that's the park and have one see this house I don't know this house I think this is a hotel so it's a little bit walk I think this is one of municipality Kind of, I can see only there's a flag on there. Oh, there's a, it's a bank. It's a co-op bank. Yeah, okay. So in this area, we can see it's more village. This like a beautiful traditional hotels. We are walking in this beautiful village. You can see the orange tree hanging around and all this stone house. Traditional stone house. Just... You can see some of the houses is modernized now, but still it looks beautiful with this small uh, little village. Oh, this one is more beautiful. Look, very traditional house. So there's a coffee bar here. There's one coffee bar. It's written in Greek. Oh, we're here. Shall we go down up first? Okay, we're gonna go up first. Ah, oh, you can see all this uh, souvenir shop. Cafe. Ah, oh, nice. So nice, very relaxing and quiet. I, I don't even want to make noise. <laughs> it's so peaceful. Look at that. It's beautiful. Oh God, I don't have a battery now. So once this stop. It means I cannot give you more uh, video. I love it, my battery. But you have an idea now what Omudo is like. But next time we come here, we're going to be featuring more about uh, Omudo's. So we have a little bakery in there. So I'll take you a little bit tour while I have a battery. So we have this uh, platia, cafeteria, and all these delicacies in here, fruits and nuts. Oh wow, more cafe, coffee shop, waffles right there, and have waffles. Oh. of these they call it a uh, Gelemo Vina Bar Cafe which you can they have sign outside uh, wine tasting you can see the local wine buy after tasting fine free wine tasting <laughs> they're so nice you know the delicacies here and they have a free tasting in here is it nice? Cosmos. <laughs> it's free. <laughs> so they have this, the monastery of the Holy Cross. Go down there. 
and of course more cafe in here and little road lots of small taverna in here so we have this hiding little donkey let me have a look hello hello little donkey you're hiding it's so cold it's freezing no uh, the donkey which you put a euro on it and just ride <laughs> it's so nice then see that so he said only for children one euro singing and dancing one euro singing and dancing so this is a little donkey which you can ride you put you put one euro on it it's so great wonderful you can see all these uh, stone steps it's beautiful it's so nice So this is another uh, road for this small stone. I don't know, I think this is a hotel, most likely this, this is a sovereign shop. Oh, sorry, this is a monastery. So what it means monastery, people is a people go to. It's a monastery where monks live. Uh, oh, I don't know about that. I just said it on the front, it said monastery. Oh, okay. So this is another Omodos the land of wine and a beautiful houses. Traditional houses. Let's see, just if we can just be doing the Hi. How are you? Good, thank you. It's so nice people in here. Look at that, all the wines and more donkey. Oh, a beer. So they do a wine tasting here. So one of these is a glass, a handmade glass and ceramic clay. And this is a Homo Homo Dios Art and Crafting Gallery. Let's see, have a look. And there's a beautiful pussycat. Hey, yeah, pussycat! It's beautiful inside. Look, it's very tradition. And we're just gonna take you through. Oh, this is a modern house. So this is taverna actually. Is it taverna? There's a sign in there. Teme so talkless taverna. So it's so many taverna in a small yeah, that's village. 60 meters now. Oh, 60 meters. There's another taverna sign in there. Mar Makrinari Taverna. As you can see, it's a small road, but it's so many, so many. Oh, this is so tiny road. You can see. Shall we go here? Oh, we go this way. <laughs> 